Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. Another month has been completed. That means another Player of the Month SBC and Player of the Month voting, and also Player of the Month investments. With new candidates this month, um, I think it's gonna be pretty interesting because a lot of people could be interested in the SBC that comes out. We're gonna take a look at the options for this month's Premier League Player of the Month. It's uh, Coleman, Mane, Robertson, Ward-Prowse, Vardy, and Bernardo Silva. Uh, those are the top six that are being voted on right now. I think the voting is closed as of right now. Um, and to me, there are two candidates from this Player of the Month uh, that stand out, and that is Mane and Vardy. And if you go look at some of their statistics from the month, um, Leicester had three wins and one loss on the month. Vardy had four goals and one assist. Mane had four games in the month, three goals. They had three wins and one draw. Now, I think these two guys are the top front runners because they have the most goals scored. And um, out of these guys that they have actually you know, put up for the voting. Now, Robertson and Coleman, it's kind of hard to tell for those left backs uh, because their defenders. Now, earlier in the year, we had the surprise winner Van Dyke for Player of the Month. So we're just going to have to watch and see what comes of this, but I really think it's going to be Mane or Vardy um, coming out with the uh, Player of the Month award for the month of March. So investing for these uh, two SBCs, we're going to take a look at some past Player of the Month SBCs and kind of going off what they usually require for these SBCs, we should be able to come up with a pretty solid groundwork of a way to invest for these SBCs um, and what could be required for them. So first of, all, I'm, first of all, I want to take a look at what these cards could actually look like. If we get a Player of the Month Sadio Mane card, if they base it off of his um, 88 rated Champions League Man of the Match, they usually give plus twos. Um, from their highest rated card for the player of the month version so we could have ourselves a 90 rated Sadio Mane with like maybe 98 pace upper 80 shooting this would be a fantastic fantastic card people already love this card in his inform um, so that would make his card very desirable a lot of people would want to do that and I think I would you would expect to see a 90 rated Mane SBC cost somewhere in the range of maybe 600 to 700k and yes it would be another left wing card in the premier league which we don't need a lot of we already have so many of those that's kind of why i'm kind of hoping that vardy ends up winning he has the most goals and goal contributions out of the guys that are in the running uh but lester did lose a game during the month and that kind of factors into the voting process vardy has the 86 rated squad building challenge card already um so if they give him a plus two or plus three from his inform, I could see his player of the month being an 87 rated if they decide to give him like a plus three from his 84 rated card. Or I could also see the player of the month coming out as like an 88 or an 89 if they really want to juice him up um, from this version right here, which if we look at an 87 or 88 rated Vardy, we're looking at 95, 96 pace, maybe 90 shooting. Um, that would be an SBC that gets the attention of a lot of people. So I think there are going to be a lot of people that want to do the player of the month either way this month um, <clears throat> as, it, as it comes up, whether it ends up being Vardy or whether it ends up being Sadio Mane. So when we think about player of the month, what is something they always require? Premier League gold cards. Now, right now when I'm looking at this, the icons have kind of messed up this market in a sense. I'm looking at Premier League um, gold cards right now, higher rated, 83s, 84s, 85s, um, and a lot of them are inflated. You see that we have Keppa and Schmeichel as the cheapest 84s, under 4K. The rest are above 5K. All the 85s in the Prem are above 14K. All the 86s are 24K. So a lot of these cards are inflated right now, and I'm not a huge fan of those as investments. Um, hopefully those trickle downward in price later in the week, maybe after a weekend league rewards uh, period. If we're not getting a promo this week, that could be an opportunity for an investment in some of these cards if they continue to drop. But if they don't drop at all, I'm not really thinking that they would be too good to invest in just because, um, you know, they're just a little bit high and I don't like investing in inflated things. But 
these would be definitely required at some point um, during the SBC. Now, if you're looking, let's say Sadio Mane wins Player of the Month, you're going to want to focus on maybe the Mane card himself, or Firmino, or maybe an Allison 85, or I think Allison got an upgrade to an 87 as well. Maybe that card, since it is a Liverpool player, you could always look for the nation and of the team that that player plays for when they win Player of the Month. But always, in general, high-rated Premier League gold cards are almost always required. Whether it's Vardy or Mane who wins, you're going to have to submit some some sort of SVC that requires Premier League gold cards. So that's a shout. If you see these prices dip a little bit lower after awards on Thursday, that could be an opportunity for investment right there. Inform wise, that's kind of the second place where we look for uh, investments. Ben Me from this week's Team of the Week is a little bit interesting to me. He would be a good investment, especially if Vardy won Player of the Month. I don't like his price right now at 24K. If you can get him around 20 or 21, I think that's a pretty good shout um, because you've seen other center backs from the Premier League that are English. They have boomed this year uh, at certain points um, on the market just because they're very, very linkable for SPCs and all of that. So if you see this card get around 20,000 coins, 21 to 22K, I think that's a decent investment if, if they need an inform requirement for this SBC, um, which if Mane gets it, I do think uh, there will be an inform requirement just because of the fact uh, that that SBC will probably be pretty expensive. Um, other than that, informs in the Prem, uh, you know, I don't think it's a good idea to pay 23k for any of these informs. Check out this upcoming team of the week. Maybe there's a Premier League player in it that's an 81 or 82 rated. That could be a, a decent investment early on in the week. Um, as that card would only be in packs for two days before the Player of the Month SBC would come out on Friday. So other than that, um, the next thing that we need to look at is the actual gold cards themselves. Now I'm actually going to transition over to the actual um, the screen for this in-game. Uh, Jamie Vardy's actual foot card right now I think is actually going for around 2,000 coins. And as you saw back here on the graph, uh, he is pretty inflated. I think people are realizing that, hey, um, this player of the month is coming soon. A lot of people got in on this card, especially when the voting came out on Friday. Uh, and they realized that, hey, this could be a good investment here. He, he was close to discard. And right now he's sitting about 1,800 coins as we see here on the Xbox. I don't think that's a great investment um, because if you really need Vardy for his player of the month SBC, I don't expect that his card would go anywhere over 5k. If you really think you're going to do the SBC, just pick one up, store it in your club at maybe 2,000 coins. Um, that would be a card that you could easily maybe sit on and snipe uh, at, during rewards. That card will get supplied again on the market uh, and you'll be able to pick one up if you really need to. Mane is one that kind of interests me though and I want to take a look at his graph, but I did see that his price is about 25k on the market which is interesting because he is actually one of the cheaper 86 rated cards right now with how fl inflated those cards are on the market so let's go take a look at Sadio Mane 26,000 coins he is up um, he was 24k actually wow a couple weeks ago 15,000 coins that's crazy that's pretty crazy so he is inflated a little bit um, as you can see with the with the icon SBCs and stuff like that but this is a card that I would if Mane gets the SBC, if he wins the Player of the Month award, I would be, I mean, I think they could require this Mane card. Now, we're going to actually take a look back to an old tweet from the last time that Mane won Player of the Month. This was in FIFA 18. He won the very first Player of the Month, Player of the Month September, um, for, for the Premier League. Actually, no, it was, uh, it was Player of the Month August. He was the very first Player of the Month player that came out in the first week of FIFA and you see by this screenshot here you needed a Senegalese player from Liverpool so it required his card the last time he won player of the month his card was required and that's one thing that I wanted to point out to you guys I could see that being uh, the same thing again although maybe his card goes to like 50,000 coins I don't really think that that would be enough to justify the whole cost of the SBC. Now, if you're thinking about a Mane card and his his man of the match right now is chilling on on the market for somewhere around like 370k, and people have no problem paying 370k 
for this card, which has really insane stats. Add a, a stat boost to him, make him a 90 rated card, give him a dynamic image of him holding the player of the month uh, award, and I think you're going to look at this SBC being probably somewhere along the lines of 600, 700,000 coins, maybe even more than that, 800k, just because that's going to be a very valuable SBC. He's Liverpool. Liverpool are atop the league table right now as I record this video, at least they're in that position, um, and they are looking like they could win the league this year, and there's a lot of hype around Liverpool. So, uh, it depends on what EA eventually does for this SBC, but if it is Mane, uh, look for some Liverpool requirements, look for some probably inform requirements because they're going to have to get that price up high uh, in some way or form, and um, that would be one way to get it up for them. Now, if Vardy wins Player of the Month, he, let's say he gets an 87 or an 88 rated Player of the Month card, I think you would expect that SBC to cost somewhere in the range of like 300k to 500k. I know that's a bigger range, but it's going to be, they're going to know they can get you to do that SBC because they could really juice his stats. Again, his SBC card has like 90, it's like 86 shooting, and they are, they give out some pretty big boosts to the Player of the Month card. So, if we go to his league SBC card and check this out really quick and check out the reward details and we actually look at his card, he has 86 shot. You could see that shot go to 90 if they gave him a plus four and they gave him like 96 pace and 90 shooting. That would be a card people would go crazy for because uh, I don't know if he's projected to get a team of the season this year. Uh, maybe a team of the season on the edge of that, but that would certainly make his card an end game card. A lot of people would go to rush to do that SBC. Um, so that's why I think player of the month is, this is a real conversation to have this month. You know, some months the the people that are nominated are just, they're just okay. But this month, I think if Vardy or Mane win, they both have special cards already that are kind of increasing their rating. And we could really get um, uh, a really special Player of the Month SBC out of those cards, and people love Player of the Month Thief Ultimate Team. That's why I want to talk about uh, kind of investing for it with you guys today again. So again, looking through some of the investments, it's always the high-rated gold. It's always the informs. If you can get away with not using Premier League informs, that is the easiest way to do it. Obviously, for each each squad, it's different, and depending on how they um, they put the stuff out, you're going to need some players from the Premier League. So Kieta being a Liverpool player at 1.4K, that would be one of my more favorite pickups, I think. Uh, he's 84, 83 rated, so you could use him in an 82 to 85 rated squad and get away with that card in there. He is Liverpool. Um, and if you can pick up this card, maybe it rewards for like 1K, I think this would be a, one of the more safest player of the month investments. I'm actually just gonna go pick one up right now myself. Um, as he is showing at 1.1 thousand coins and that is really cheap for a Premier League 83 rated card. I'm gonna go stash one, maybe we get one for like 1k and 1.1k, uh, exactly that, that's fine with me. I'm gonna stash this in the club because I feel like that's a pretty good, pretty good value. That card could go 3 to 4k very easily if there is some Liverpool requirements, which I would imagine that there would be. Um, if Mane does win that player of the month. So again, maybe some other uh, specific investments from this. I don't see a ton of them. If you're investing to do the SBC on Thursday at rewards, I would recommend going out and trying to snag as many high rated Premier League cards as you can. Now, if we get word that there's a promo this weekend, um, if player of the month does come out on Friday, which I think it will, and we are supposed to get a promo, I would not buy yet just because they could release lightning rounds and that would really hurt the prices of these high rated gold cards but that would also create an investment opportunity for a quick turnaround as people would go and possibly do player of the month but at the same time everything is getting packed and all those gold cards are getting flooded onto the market so if you hear anything um, buy Thursday at rewards um, 
after Thursday rewards, if you can pick up some bids or if they're, the prices do dip down, like if you see Firmino at like under 20,000 coins, I think that's a decent, if you see him get lower than this dip right here at 21K, I think that's an okay time to maybe pick up one or two. But this wouldn't be a player of the month situation right now where I would totally go and invest in. I don't see a lot of stuff like that, except for maybe the Kieta. Um, but right now, I would just say this is more of a player of the month as in if you want to do it, maybe pick up one or two cards and stash them in your club to prepare yourself to do the SBC. Um, just because a lot of the high rated golds, a lot of the SBC stuff is just inflated right now. And I don't think uh, that it would be in a lot of your guys' best interest to go invest in this player of the month with the way the market is right now. Yes, people have a lot of coins. Yes, you have that going for you. But just the fact that um, a lot of stuff is just inflated right now, especially with people doing tons of Icon SBCs, uh, it doesn't really seem like uh, the, the player of the month, it doesn't seem like one of those player of the months where you can invest in and make a lot of coins, especially because the high rated gold cards are pretty high. So again, watch the team of the week this week. If we get a Vardy inform, he had a very good game this weekend. If we get a Vardy inform, that might be something to to keep an eye out for. Uh, I don't think they would require a Vardy inform. You saw we looked up his inform. We'll look it up again, but this card is very rare, um, and I don't think that they would actually require his inform. Now, if they did, uh, if he gets an inform this week, it would be an 86 rated inform in this week's team of the week, if he does get one, and then this card would definitely be panic sold. If you would see this card get back down to about 30K, I know that is, that's a big drop, and we'll take a look at him here on Footbin to kind of end out the video. But if you see this card get back down to like 30K, which uh, he was in the team of the week not too long ago, earlier in the month, and he went down to 42K, but if you see this card get down to the maybe 40K or below that, uh, that would be an opportunity to pick this card up. Um, I don't know if they would require it, but it would definitely rise back up into the hype of Player of the Month, um, just in case, because he, we know that he is uh, a contender for Player of the Month. So again, I don't feel like this is a Player of the Month where you want to go out and just spend a bunch of coins and invest in this. I think that is, uh, if you see these cards, and if you want to do a Mane or a Vardy Player of the Month, um, your best bet would to be maybe go pick up one card, stash it in your club after Thursday rewards when some uh, stuff comes onto the market, and uh, just to prepare yourself that way, not really go all in and invest on stuff, just because the state of the market, a lot of the SBC stuff is really high in price right now. If you enjoyed this video though, smash the thumbs up on it. I'm stoked for Player of the Month. I have not done a Player of the Month SBC yet this year except for Lucas. Um, who's at the beginning of the year, but if we get a Mane or a Vardy and the SBC is decently affordable, I will be very tempted uh, to do one of these SBCs, especially a Vardy. I think this SBC card, if they really juice them up, could be pretty special. So again, if you enjoyed it, thumbs up. Comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe to the channel. If you're new, it's been Nate, the Foot Accountant. Catch you guys later. Peace out.